from Tasman's Christian Creations and well it's real luck it's been a long time since I have recorded and showing my face here on YouTube um, I have just been so busy lately um, some of you may know if you guys follow me on Facebook or Instagram um, you guys would have uh, you guys have known that I have started crocheting keychains um, to sell at markets. So in case you're wondering, in case you're wondering, this is the big box of keychains that I started making. All of these little guys here. Um, so yeah, there's about 60 keychains plus minus that I've made so far. I think it's like over 60 now, like 65 or something. Um... Yeah, I think it's like 65 or 70 um, keychains I've made so far. Um, but anyway, so I've been really busy not just making the keychains for my markets to come when they come. I'm so excited for my markets. I, I already have in my mind my whole display and everything set out. And I already have all of these ideas that I want to do for my display and everything like that. But anyway, so I've been busy with that as well as a lot of orders like out of nowhere since i boosted my post on facebook like two weeks back or three weeks ago um i have just been receiving so many orders um it's crazy totally totally crazy like in this past i think two weeks i have made over 800 rand in total from just selling keychains and those range from like one to ten ten keychain orders like the keychain that i'm making the order that i have now at the moment is for ten keychains <laughs> so it's pretty insane so the order is actually for a sunflower keychain which is what today's tutorial is on <laughs> so with that in mind with that being said Let's get started today's tutorial. Okay, so to make this beautiful sunflower keychain right here with this beautiful leaf, um, the materials that we'll need is a 2mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, a stitch marker, and you'll need a keychain and also a jump ring. Um, I just haven't taken it out yet, but yeah, you'll need an extra jump ring. You'll also need some jewelry pliers um, so you can help with uh, closing up those jump rings. Um, as for the yarn we'll be using, um, we'll be using this camel brown. So it's a nice tan brown. Then I have this bright yellow. And then I also have this green. I have this green here which is called Lamb Drop. Okay, so the yarn is all in charity DK weight yarn and um, you'll also be needing um, a pair of scissors, a blunt pair of scissors and some pillow stuffing. And I like to use a blunt pair of scissors so we can just push in, um, so you can push in the stuffing. Um, yeah, so you'll need a blunt pair of scissors just to make it easier. And yeah, so I think that's it. So let's get started with today's tutorial. Okay, so to begin, we're going to take our brown yarn, and what we're going to do is we are going to take our yarn, and then we're going to wrap it around our finger once, twice, sorry, wrap it around once, twice, and then the third time, we're going to cross over to form an X. Yeah, so we're going to cross over to form an X. So we're going to insert under those two loops, yarn over and pull through. And then we will do a chain one just to secure that magic ring. And then we can take it off of our fingers. And then what we're going to do now is we are now going to place um, six single crochets into the magic ring. So um, a single crochet is insert yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through two insert yarn over and pull through 
yarn over and pull through two that's two insert yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through two three insert yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through those two loops so that's four five and six and then to close this magic ring what we'll do is we'll pull on our tail end and then as you can see it kind of pulls the one tail end in so the one that is being pulled in we'll take that tail end and we will pull it in the one direction that closes this other this other ring so the circle so we'll pull that in and then to get rid of this loop we will take our tail end and pull on that okay so i'll be working over my tail end so i don't have to sew it in later so now for this next round we're going to increase into each stitch around and an increase is just a single uh, is just two single crochets into each stitch around so we'll find our first stitch just over there if you want you can count back six so one two three four five and six so insert into the first uh into the first stitch do your first single crochet go back into the same stitch and do your second single crochet yeah and then we can take our stitch marker so then we can take our stitch marker and we can insert our stitch marker into the first stitch that we made of the second round okay so again into each stitch around we'll do an increase which is two single crochets into each stitch around and our stitch count should have gone up from six up to 12 by the end of this round <clears throat> okay so you can just repeat this all the way around placing two single crochets into each stitch around and again your stitch count should have gone from six up to twelve okay so I'm at the end now we're ready to move on to the next round so I'm just going to count my stitches just to make sure I have my 12 stitches so it's one two three four five six seven eight sorry I lost count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve okay moving on to the next round we're going to place one single crochet and then an increase around so for the first stitch we're going to place one single crochet place our stitch marker back and then in the next stitch we'll place an increase remember an increase is two single crochets into the same stitch again we we'll place one single crochet into the next stitch and then an increase into the next stitch okay and then one single crochet into the next stitch and then an increase into the next stitch so you'll just repeat that all the way around placing one single crochet into the next stitch and then an increase in the following stitch one stitch in the next stitch and then an, an increase in the following stitch and your stitch count should have gone up from 12 up to 18. okay so i'm just going to finish this round with you since i am nearly there at the end so yeah, this keychain is very quick and easy to make. Most of my keychains are very quick and easy to make. Um, I have designed just about all of them. I think it's only my rainbow keychain that I have not designed. It is a keychain pattern that I found here on YouTube. <laughs> okay, so now I have made a background to the beginning. And now I'm ready to move on to my next round. And another way to make sure you're, you are increasing correctly is um, you would also end your round on an increase. So on every round you will end and you would, you would end on an increase. Okay, so moving on to the next round, we will place one single crochet in the first two stitches. So that's one. Then we'll place our stitch marker back. One. And then two and then we'll do an increase in the third stitch and then we'll place one single crochet in the next two stitches one and two and then an increase in the third 
again one single crochet in the next two stitches and then an increase in the next stitch one single crochet in the next two and then an increase in the next stitch one single crochet in the next two stitches and then an increase and then you should have three stitches remaining which again you would place one single crochet in the next two stitches oopsie you place one single crochet in the next two stitches and then an, in an increase in the last stitch like that okay so now moving on to the next round we'll remove our stitch marker place one single crochet in the next three stitches so that's one two three and then an increase into the next stitch okay so that's one two three four rounds okay so our fifth round we are doing one single crochet in the next three one two three and then an increase into the next stitch okay so again it's one single crochet in the next three stitches one two and three and then an increase see let's do that again it's so one two three and then an increase into the next stitch again one two three and then an increase and your stitch count should have gone up from 18 to 24 by the end of this round okay again coming up to the last four stitches we'll place one single crochet into the next three one one two three and then an increase okay now moving on to the last round we'll place one single crochet into the next four stitches And then an increase into the next stitch so again it's one single crochet in the next four stitches one two three four and then an increase into the next stitch again it's one single crochet in the next four one two three four and then an increase and then one two one two three four and then an increase one two three four and then an increase and then coming up to the last five stitches again we're going to place one single crochet into the next four and then an increase into the last stitch yeah, so your stitch count should have gone up from 24 to 30. Yeah, so that's what it should be looking like now. So um, we have now completed the one center of the sunflower. So now to end this off, we are now going to slip stitch to the next stitch. So we're going to slip stitch. And what I like to do is I like to yarn over and then pull through. Sorry, let me do that again. So I like to insert, yarn over and then pull through so i like to um sorry okay 
So now to end off um, the center of our sunflower, we are now going to slip stitch into the next stitch. So we will insert our hook and I like to wrap out my yarn underneath my hook like that instead of over. Um, I found that it creates a much like tighter slip stitch. Okay, so that's what we should be looking like now. So we can grab our scissors and we can snip our yarn and we can pull it up. Okay, so now you would just repeat that same process from the magic ring to row round six, I believe it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. From round one to round six, you'll repeat the same process. So you can have two of these um, uh, centers of the sunflowers, or <laughs> two of these little circles. So we can make the center of the sunflower. Okay, so you can go ahead and you can um, repeat the same steps to make another center and then I'll come back and I'll show you how we can join those two together and how to crochet the petal while joining these two together. Okay. Okay, so now I have come back and I have finished uh, crocheting the second circle. So now what we'd want to do is we'd want to grab our yellow yarn and you'd want to grab your two circles and you'd want to place the wrong sides facing. So with the wrong sides facing each other and the right sides facing out, you'd want to insert your hook um, where you slip stitched into and where you slip stitched into here. And you just want to like tuck your tail ends in between the two pieces um, so they kind of can be like, I don't know, so it can be <laughs> um, crocheted into the, the centers. Yeah, so you'd want to grab your yarn and just wrap it over your hook and pull through. And then you'd want to chain up three, one, two, three. And then into the next stitch, We are going to do a treble crochet. So treble crochet is yarn over twice. So wrap your yarn over your hook twice. Sorry, I didn't actually go into detail of a chain. So let me do that again. So a chain, you're going to yarn over and pull through. And then to do a chain, you're just going to yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through to do a chain. Okay. So now uh, to do our treble crochet, we're going to yarn over twice. And then we're going to insert our hook into the next stitch and then the next stitch on the other side as well and i'm going to crochet over my tail end so i'm just going to um, put that over my hook and then we're going to yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two and yarn over pull through two and then we are going to do a double treble so double treble is yarning over three times so that's two three so you should have four loops on your hook in total and then you'll insert your hook into the same stitch you did your treble, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, 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 whoopsie, and yarn over and pull through the last two. Okay. And then you'd want to do a pico. So a pico is basically a chain three, one, two, and three, and then You'd want to slip stitch to the beginning, but what I like to do is I like to slip stitch to the top and side of the uh, double treble stitch. So I'm going to skip these chain three and then go into the top of the double crochet and out the side of the double treble like that. And then I'm just going to yarn over and I'm going to kind of like maneuver my work of my hook to face down. And I'm going to yarn over and slip stitch. I just find it's easier to slip stitch this way. So I'm going to slip stitch and pull through all of those loops to slip stitch. So there is our like little pico stitch. A little pico. So then we're going to do another treble, which is yarn over twice. So it's one and two. Insert into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over, pull through two. Like that. And then we'll chain three. One two and three and then going into the next stitch we'll slip stitch into the next two stitches so slip stitches just insert into the next stitch on both sides yarn over pull through and then pull through that loop on your hook to do a slip stitch 
and then again into the next stitch do a slip stitch oopsie daisy so we're going to do a slip stitch so again insert into the next stitch both through the front and back and slip stitch and then you'll you will repeat that process again so chain three one two and three treble crochet so yarn over twice insert into the next stitch on the front and on the back like that yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through two whoopsie and then you'll do a double treble so chain uh yeah and then you'll do a double treble so then you'll wrap your yarn around your hook three times have four loops on your hook insert into the same stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two and then again we'll do our little pico so we'll chain three one two and three and then again we will slip stitch into the top of our double treble so going underneath those two stitches of the top and the side of that double treble double treble and then yarn over and pull through to do your slip stitch and then we'll do our treble crochet so it's yarn over twice so into the same stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two and then we'll chain three one two and three and then insert your hook into the next stitch through the front and back yarn over pull through pull through the loop on your hook again slip stitch in the next stitch yarn over oh, sorry insert yarn over pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook to do another slip stitch chain three one two and three treble crochet wrap your yarn over your hook twice insert into the next stitch front and back front and back yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two okay and then do your double treble so it's yarning over three times insert into the same stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two and again yarn over pull through two and then we'll chain three one two three and then we will do our pico so again it's insert your hook at, at the top of it's basically like the front loop of the double crochet oh sorry the double treble and through that side, side stitch and then yarn over and pull through then again do your treble so it's yarn over twice insert yarn, yarn over <coughs> yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through two again it's chain three one two and three insert into the next stitch front and back and then yarn over and pull through do a slip stitch and then again in the next stitch do a slip stitch and you'll just repeat that all the way around um, chaining three and then doing your treble double treble pico treble in the next stitch and then chaining three and slip stitching in the next two stitches and you'll you'll repeat that all the way around and we will come back when we have um, a little gap left to stuff our our sunflower yeah, so you can just um, repeat that doing um, a treble, double treble, a pico and a treble in the next stitch and then chaining three and then slip stitching in the next two stitches. Okay. So you can carry on with that and i'll meet back up with you when we are ready to stuff our little sunflower okay so that's what our little petals should be looking like now okay so you can go ahead you can repeat that all the way around leaving a little bit of a gap and then i'll come back and then we can stuff our little sunflower okay so now i've come around to the beginning and i think i have like one petal left and I am just going to push in these tail ends 
and then we can grab our stuffing and our blunt pair of scissors and we can now stuff our sunflower okay so you can just lay the stuffing on top of the little hole that we left and then we can just stuff our our sunflower gonna stuff just a little bit more okay I think that is fine now okay so then what we can do is we can just join our yarn so I just finished slip stitching twice, yeah, so I just finished slip stitching twice, so now I am going to chain up three, one, two, three, and then do my treble into the next stitch, into the next stitch, and then my double treble, And then chain three and then slip stitch and then treble again into the same stitch chain three one two three and then slip stitch slip stitch over the next two stitches so that's one and two okay it looks like we have one more petal to do so chain three one two three treble into the next stitch treble and then double treble double treble And then chain three, one, two, three, and then slip stitch, and then do our treble, chain three, one, two, and three, and then we will slip stitch into our last stitch, and then I also like to just slip stitch into the same stitch that I started at like that okay and then that is what our sunflower looks like by the end of it now and then we can just take our scissors and snip into end off we can just yarn over and pull that up and out okay so that is what our little sunflower should be looking like now yeah that's our little sunflower and then what we can do is we can take our tapestry needle, thread our yarn onto our needle. And then what I like to do is I like to just sew through the stitches of the petal on the back. So I like to just bring my tail end to the back. Yeah, and so underneath my stitches of the petal like that again go through the stitches of the petal making sure your needle does not poke out through the front okay 
And then what I like to do is I like to just like skip a stitch and go back the same way I came. And then you don't want to pull too tight because then it will pull the stitches in the front. And then what I like to do is I like to just insert my needle into the center. And then I like to just go into the stitch that I came out of and out somewhere else. And then again insert my needle into the stitch that I came out of and out somewhere else. Again insert my needle into the stitch I came out of and out somewhere else. Again insert my needle into the stitch I came out of. And then out somewhere else. Okay, I just like to do this a few times just so that I know that my tail end is sewn in nicely and won't come out at all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so now I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to take my scissors and snip my yarn. And then I think should just the tail bit. The tail end should just hide back in there. Yeah, so that's our little sunflower. That's what it looks like. So now we can put our sunflower to one side. We can grab our green yarn. And now we are going to create our leaf. So now in order to do that, you'll want to take your yarn, wrap it around your fingers to form an X like that, and then take your hook, insert under the first loop, pick up the second loop, and then take your um, take the loop off your fingers and then pull tight. And then what you'd want to do is you'd want to chain 14. So to chain it's just yarn, whoopsie, to chain it's just yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through, so that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, and 14. Okay, and then in the fifth chain from our hook, so we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So in this fifth chain, we're going to do a we're going to do a four treble crochet. So treble is yarn over twice, insert, yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two, and yarn over pull through two. Again, it's yarn over twice, insert into the same stitch, yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two, and yarn over pull through two. Okay, yeah, that's two, three, and four. Okay, and then in the next three stitches, we'll do another treble. So again, it's in the next stitch, we'll do a treble. So that's one in the next stitch, two in the next stitch, three. And then three. And then what you'd want to do is we'd want to do two double crochets or a double crochet in the next two stitches. So we're going to yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two to do a double crochet. So that's one. And then in the next stitch, we're going to do another double crochet. So it's yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two to do a double crochet. Then in the next two stitches, we're going to do a half double crochet. So to do a half double crochet, we're going to yarn over once, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops to do a half double crochet. Again, one more time. We're going to yarn over, insert into the next chain, yarn over, pull through. We'll have three loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on our hook. And then we're going to do a single crochet into the last, sorry, into the second to last chain. So we're going to insert, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through to do 
pull through two to do a single crochet and then in our last stitch we're gonna slip stitch so we're gonna we're gonna insert into the last chain do a slip stitch and then chain three one two three and then slip stitch into the same stitch that we did our slip stitch into and then into this next stitch we are now going to work back along our chains to form the other side of the leaf and we're going to work over our tail end so we don't have to sew it in so in this next stitch we're going to place a single crochet so directly opposite to our last stitch so we're going to insert yarn over pull through and then yarn over pull through two to do your single crochet and then again in the next two stitches we will do a half double crochet so we're going to yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook again we're going to yarn over insert into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through all three of those loops to do a half double crochet then we're going to do a double crochet in the next two stitches so double crochet is yarn over insert into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through two to do a double crochet again it's yarn over insert into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through two to do another double crochet and then over the, the next three stitches we're going to do uh, a treble crochet so we're going to yarn over twice insert into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two again yarn over twice insert into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two again yarn over twice insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two okay and then we will do our four treble crochet stitches in our last chain so over there so we're going to yarn over twice insert our hook yarn over twice yarn over twice yarn over two Yeah, and then again we're going to yarn over twice, insert, yarn over and pull through two, pull through two and pull through two. It's two, yarn over, yarn over twice, insert, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two. One more. So we're going to yarn over twice, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two. And then we are going to slip stitch to this first stitch that we did. So we're going to skip this chain, uh, the first chain of threes. That was just to get our leverage. And then we'll slip stitch to that next treble crochet stitch. So we'll just insert, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the loop on your hook. Yeah, so that is our little leaf pattern. That is what it looks like. Um, so now we can cut our yarn. So I'll also like to leave a little bit of a longer tail and then just yarn over and pull through and pull that up like that okay so that is our little leaf and then we can just sew in our tail end so i'm just going to straight away and cut this other one from the back because that's the one that i worked over so i'm just going to snip that short And then what I like to do is just grab my tapestry needle. Okay. And then what I like to do is I like to just sew to the back. So I'm going to sew down to the back of this treble like that. And then I'm just going to go under some of these stitches on this one side here trying not to go through the other side of the leaf okay and then i'm just gonna sew the sew on the opposite side now so i'm just gonna go underneath 
these stitches here. So again, you just want to sew underneath some of these stitches. Okay, and you'd want to make sure you don't pull on your tail end tight, because then you'll distort the stitches. And then I'm just going to go again, just back up into these stitches that I just worked underneath. Again, making sure I don't come out through the front okay, and again making sure not to pull your, on your tail end too tight and then we can just snip this off okay so there is our little leaf done that is what it looks like now okay so now we can grab our sunflower and our leaf and um we can now join our keychain on and we'll need two um two jump rings or connectors let's get this up bag open okay yeah, so we'll need two of those and we'll need our jewelry pliers okay yeah, so now what i like to do is with this leaf is I like to push it through Let me just grab my needle and show you so if you can see underneath this vertical bar let me just focus in over here okay so underneath this vertical bar there's like a horizontal bar there so I like to insert this uh, this jump ring through the back like that so underneath um so underneath the horizontal bar and then through the back like this so you must go underneath that horizontal bar at the back as well okay so that's how i like to insert my jump ring into the leaf um because yeah i just feel like it's a lot more sturdier if i insert it like this i just feel like it has a lesser chance of breaking <laughs> um and then we'll take the jump ring and this other jump ring and then we will pull our petals apart just a little bit and then where that slip stitch is we will just insert insert this jump ring into one of the slip stitches making sure it comes through the front as well So I want it to come out on the base. So let me maybe try it this way. It's a bit fiddly to try and get it through. There we go. Okay, so once you've got your jump ring through, you can then take your keychain and you can put your keychain on. Close this jump ring. So there we go, the keychain is now on our little sunflower. Okay, and then what we can do is we can now take our leaf and our sunflower keychain and we can now put this on. So um, I like to put this on with the front of the leaf facing the sunflower. Um, so yeah. If you can just see like I'm, I'm hooking the jump ring on with the front of the leaf facing me and I'm just gonna put that on there and then again just take our jewelry pliers and close and close the jump ring okay 
There we go. And there it is. There is our little sunflower um, with leaf keychain. That is what it looks like now. Yeah, so that is our little sunflower with leaf keychain. Okay. Okay, guys, so that is it for today's tutorial on how to crochet this cute sunflower keychain with a little leaf. Um, I really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. And yeah, if you would like to see more posts about my business and my keychains and all the orders that I have going and hopefully um, a market someday um, when all, when I have all of my stock, like I plan on making so many keychains from movies, genres, like everything, anything you can think of, I want to make a keychain of. So. So yeah, and also for my market, which I'm really happy about, I want to, I'm doing this thing with my keychains that you can add an additional five rand and you can get a personalized engraved heart with an initial or 10 rand if you want something else on there, like a name or a date or something. And um, so at my market, I want to have like a whole like acrylic set of drawers with like just like 10, 20 um, of each letter of the alphabet like in stock and then if people want to add a little engraved uh, heart with an initial on it then I can just add it right there and also um, I have this deal where if you buy a crocheted ghost uh, where is it? if you buy a crocheted ghost which is this little guy here um, you can add another 20 rand on and you can get a 3d printed ghost which is like this guy. Let me show you quickly. Which is like this guy. But you'd get a keychain version. So this guy, he, his legs are collapsible. He can stand forward or he can stand backwards. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I want to get a whole bunch of these printed. Um, 3D printed, it'll be a keychain. So yeah, I also want to have these at my markets. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited to host my market someday. But as I said, I'm just building up stock. So yeah, when that happens, then you guys will be, you guys will know all about it if you guys are following me on Facebook and Instagram. But yeah, as I said, anyway, that is it for the sunflower keychain and I just dropped it on the floor. But anyway, that is it for today's tutorial on how to crochet the sunflower keychain. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed crocheting it and showing you how to crochet this keychain. So yeah, that is it guys. Thank you guys for watching and bye. Enjoy the rest of your crocheting.